After all the recent news coming out, we thought it was time to give everyone a refresher course on all things social distancing, especially you. Are you tired of hearing about it? How about you, Queen Anne? Well, imagine how tired we are having to tell everybody that doesn't listen. Shops may be open and small gatherings may still be taking place. There might even be food on your favorite restaurant's table, but folks, don't let that trick you. There's still an abundance of caution that you should take any time you leave your house. First and foremost, come on people, wear the mask. It's not just for you, it's for everyone around you. And although the risk of severe illness is different for everyone, anyone can get and spread COVID-19. So put your mask on. Doctors, nurses, scuba divers, superheroes, people who like to dress up for Halloween, and plenty of people around the world in different countries are wearing a mask. So you can too, whilst you're out at the store, trying to pick out that perfect persimmon. All right, second, six feet. Just stay away, people. This is a concept that some of us have been dreaming about for years and now we're complaining? <laughs> Look, just imagine that everybody is one of those kiosks that you see in the center of a mall. Just keep your distance from them. Yeah, if you think this just pertains to inside, it doesn't. When you're out on the trails, you're out at parks, even when you're at work, keep six feet of distance between you and the public and your coworkers. If you need to say something like, hey, Karen, please respect my concerns. Please keep six feet away. Do that. Make sure you have a plan. You have to go to the grocery store to get food. That's understandable. You have to go to the gym to lose the 19 pounds you gained during quarantine, and that's relatable. But going out to visit a random store just to casually browse around, that's debatable. Remember to keep to your plan and limit your exposure. This is not just for me, you, this is for everyone. Did you stop counting while washing your hands? I bet you did. You stopped singing, didn't you? I bet some of you nasty people even stopped washing. Well, it's, it's easy, it's just soap and water for 20 seconds. And we want to make sure we're washing our hands before we eat or ever we leave a restaurant. When you're touching a pet or you've coughed, you sneeze, you touch your face, the list goes on and on. Please wash your hands. And if you can't, use sanitizer. Monitor your health. Check your temperature daily. Watch out for symptoms like uh, fever, cough, body ache, shortness of breath. Remember, this could be different for everyone. Your slight body aches and allergy sniffles that you think are no big deal could become someone else's huge problem. Finally, get tested. It's available now. Watch our videos on the testing and follow your local health departments. It's super easy and it takes seconds. That's right, so get tested. And if you test positive, make sure you follow their rules of isolation. This isn't over. Fall and winter are right around the corner. We must be diligent now. Don't make us lose out on all the great holiday experiences that are coming up in the next few months. <clears throat> Halloween. <clears throat> or Arbor Day. Or Christmas. Thanksgiving. Labor Day. Cyber Monday. Whatever. 